Hi, my name is Linda Corbett and I'm with Nye House Education Center. If you're not familiar with Nye House, our mission is literacy for all. Today I'm here to share a quick tip that will help your child learn how to decode unfamiliar words. So, we're going to explore the six syllable types, one syllable type at a time. Today, we're going to discover the very first syllable type. I'm going to show you some words, and I want you to look at these words. First of all, let's read these words. Me, hi, and no. What do you notice about all these words? Yes, they all end in one vowel. When you were reading, how did you read the vowel sound in these words? Yes, you read the vowel sound as being long. Well, there's a way to know that this vowel sound will be long. When you look at a word or a syllable that ends in one vowel, that will tell you that the vowel will be long and say its name. This syllable type is called an open syllable. An open syllable ends in one vowel. The vowel in an open syllable is long, and if we were to code that vowel, we could code it with the code mark that's called a macron. So, we discovered the very first syllable type. The syllable type is called an open syllable. An open syllable ends in one vowel. The vowel in an open syllable is long, and we code it with a macron. Long vowels say their names. So, when you notice a word that at the end of the syllable there is only one vowel, you will know that that's an open syllable and to read that vowel as a long vowel sound. So, we can spot those open syllables. Thanks for being with me today. I hope you'll come back to learn about another syllable type.